So, Faisal, have the younger artists been reaching out to you for guidance, for help? Because what's it? Struggle. There is a huge community of struggling artists. Like you said, you didn't go name it, that will break. So, have people been reaching people out to you? People have been reaching out to me. And, uh, mm -hmm. uh, of course, I didn't have any platform. Yeah. So, I could only, you know, guide them a few liners that, okay, you can do it. But I think that this is that younger artists are उनके लिए बहुत चीजें हैं सीखने के लिए YouTube has a world of knowledge you yeah. know for everyone अक्सर हम जैसे लोगों को भी जाके चीजें सीखनी पड़ती हैं कि भाई किस तरह ये करना है क्या अपलोड करना है क्या ये करना है how to promote music how to market music this is all something new हमारे जमाने में तो एक MTV पे गाने की वीडियो चली जाती थी and the whole world used to see it और endless music पे चली जाती थी that was बिल्कुल so things have changed and again, I think that's keeping me inspiring also that there's always something to learn yeah. that, uh, you know, you learn and then you apply that in your next project. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, exciting times and keeping me happy and optimistic. I think learning never ends anyway and it shouldn't. It shouldn't. When the person is taking the chance, he's learning. Otherwise, your purpose is over. Purpose is over. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So, yeah, exciting times. But also now, going back a little bit, you've done some major collaborations in your career. Like, I mean, Coke Studio to Baad Me Aya, but then there was collaborations with Bollywood. And, you know, you did a song for Spider-Man and for Zinda and Shoot Out at Lokhan Valan. Fantastic songs. Then, in the last two years, we saw you met up with Chris Martin. That uh, was, yeah, a big fan moment. Big fan moment. I know. I know. So, what's happening now on an international front? Where you've been meeting up with artists. I know you have a very long-standing association with India as well. You've had concerts all over the world. So what are we looking at internationally? I'm, I'm more into uh, learning now. Okay. So I uh, recently went to attend a workshop uh, in Poland for right. 10 days. That was a European musical uh, right. uh, vocal conference. So I really enjoyed that mm. because uh, there were people uh, and singers, all musicians uh, from, uh, you know, Hungary and uh, Spain and Italy and Germany and mm. everywhere and you get to know their music and uh, you know they were teaching African choirs and Bulgarian mm. choirs and Hungarian choirs and so Interesting. Yeah. because abhi tak to hum apne pop music mein bas wo kar rahe the, you know which sells you mm. have to perform yeah. apne record ke now I think at this stage uh, in my life I want to learn it's not that I'm going to apply Hungarian uh, choir in my right. music but it's good to know what no, scales. Somewhere in your subconscious, something will sink in and it will... Really and knowledge absolutely. always helps. Bilkul. So, I'm in that phase now to meet uh, more and more different uh, cultured mm. uh, musicians mm. and uh, see what they are doing, what are their scales. Like right. <clears throat> our Eastern classical uh, rags, mm. that is a different world. Arabic music में आप जाएं तो वो बहुत ही similar उनके scales हैं लेकिन उनके जो notes हैं उन notes में जो है वो semi notes की change आ जाती है वो उसको अलग कर देती है तो बहुत कुछ है सीखने के लिए तो अब मैं वो phase enjoy करूँ Absolutely Younger crowd के साथ आपने connect किया और फिर मिलेंगे और वो which we saw with you connecting on many levels क्या आपको नजर आ रहा है कि where is the industry headed now I think industry is really really rocking mm. and I'm glad to see that yeah. because you know five six years back there was nothing mm. uh, there was nothing for younger musicians yeah coke studio was there always has been there and has played a very important part in Pakistan's music like in coke studio ke ilawa, uh, koi aur music thai nahi. yeah Ab, after seeing people like cafe Khalil doing so well Absolutely. Abdul Hanan doing Absolutely. so well and of course Jens Turners and Shamoon Smile and mm. Hassan Rahim and all these uh, the musicians, they are doing great. So I'm also now, uh, of course, uh, discovering their music mm. and uh, doing some collaborations also. Mm. I have one song uh, which I'm releasing soon with uh, a very young, uh, talented, very talented musician, Zoha Zuberi. Okay. Uh, so I'm excited. Uh, what is the frequency going to be of your releases now? Do you have a plan or are you just going with the flow? I, I feel you're just going with the flow. Yeah, I'm just going You've with become the like flow. a bohemian music artist now. Just go with the flow. Because, you know, <laughs> that's what I was uh, 
uh, speaking to my PR company also, uh, which is PH Rasik, and he was asking me that, to uh, kya plan hai you? I Rasik, I don't know. Probably after six months, if I decide and I want to go and live six months in Spain hmm. with my wife. شروع <laughs> 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 70s سے شروع ہوا سیکس ڈرگز اینڈ راک اینڈ رول آل تھری تھنگس کیم ٹوگیدر اور ایک میوزیشین کا پارڈن می فار یوزنگ دا ٹرم بٹ ہرکی ہونا یا پرومسکس ہونا واز دا نارمل کہ یہ تو ہوگا میوزیشین ٹور پہ جائے گا تو وہ ون نائٹ اسٹینڈ تو ہوں گے افیئرس تو ہوں گے لڑکیاں ول تھرو دم سیل اور اس سے ایک کلچر بنا ویئر ویمن اسٹارٹیڈ فیلنگ ویری ان سیف اینڈ دین دوز انسیڈنٹس کیم ان ٹو دا لائم لائٹ did that exist how bad was it in pakistan and do you see that it changing because of these voices that are being heard and how have you stayed away from all these controversies all these years is pe second part pe baad mein aayenge but ye culture change hote hue aapko mehsoos hua so main aapko ek baat batau ki ek ajeeb si example de raha hu main theek hai agar ek main ek jagah jaau aur ek banda jo suppose kare drugs karta hai theek hai تو اس کو پتہ چل جائے گا کہ یہاں پہ ڈرگس کہاں ملتے ہیں مجھے نہیں پتہ چلے گا بیکاز آئی ایم آؤٹ سائڈ یو نو آپ کو جس چیز کی تلاش ہوتی ہے آپ کو وہ نظر آنے لگتی ہے تو میں اسی چیز میں آ رہا ہوں کہ فارچونیٹلی سنس نائنٹین جب بینڈ بنا تھا اینڈ پروبلی بلال میٹ ٹینا فرام دیٹ ٹائم وی ور تو ہماری زندگیاں وہ راک اسٹار امیج جو آپ کہہ دیں گے وہ کبھی رہی نہیں ہم تین ہزار چار ہزار پانچ ہزار کی آڈینس کا بھی کانسرٹ کر کے آتے تھے بالکل ہیپی گھر پہنچتے تھے پتا ہوتا تو صبح چھ بجے جا کے ارمان کو اسکول چھوڑنا ہے یا جبران کو اسکول جانا ہے پھر ایک بجے اس کو پک کرنا ہے پھر تین بجے فوراً دوبارہ جا کے ریکارڈنگ پہ جانا ہے تو ہمارا وہ موڈ ہمیشہ وہی رہا کہ جو a father and husband yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and for a part-time musician <laughs> so that's why uh, mm-hmm. I, I think thankfully to our wives thankfully to our partners that uh, we were completely away to hume wo cheeze nazar bhi nahi aati 